Hey, my name is Phil from FunnelScene.com. In this Go High Level web chat tutorial, I want to show you how you can customize the chat widget inside a Go High Level. I also want to show you how you can install it on various websites. And then finally, I'm going to show you how you can automate it so you can set up different types of triggers based on the web chat. Now, just before I get started, if you haven't yet got Higher Level and you're thinking about getting it, I've also worked out a special with Go Higher Level where you can get a 30 day free trial, which is exclusive. So make sure you go ahead and check it out. It is for the pro plan, but you can also downgrade to any other plan within that time as well. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you want to do is log into a client account in, inside of Go High Level. Then you want to come down to sites and click on the chat widget. Now inside this chat widget section, you're going to have a few different options. The first is basically choosing what type of intro message you want to use. So I like to add in things like, hey there, or hi there, is there anything I can help you with today? Question mark. And then what you can do there is add in an avatar image. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose one from my library on my computer. So I've got this one here ready to go. And then finally, if you have people coming back to your website after they've filled out the form, you can also adjust what they see the next time they come by this bottom returning visitor section. So at the moment it says welcome back name, it pre-populates their name. How can we help you today? So you can leave it as is, I usually do, or you can customize it if you want as well. Now you want to make sure that the chat bubble um, switch is turned on if it's on off it's not going to appear on your website so make sure it is on and ready to go and now we have completed the first section which is the chat bubble we can go ahead and click save and this is going to save our settings so far now on the next section the widget window this is going to show us what it looks like when people actually click on the message button so it says here have a question this is the top section here next it has intro message enter your question below and a representative will get right back to you as it says right here so you can customize that to more suit your brand if you've got specific types of services things like that which is pretty cool you can also add in an email field which i highly recommend getting their email is really important and then down below we've got some legal permissions as well you can leave those as is it just uh, puts in the info down here next thing we want to do though is choose your own customization so what i'm going to do is open up my little color palette i'm going to choose the color of my brand and it is this one here so i'm just going to copy that it's uh, using a little tool called uh, colorzilla it's a little chrome extension it allows you to pick colors from your screen and save them so i'm going to go ahead and change this color it's only slightly different actually to the go high level branding but that has been done the final step is to actually add in your agency branding as this one is for um, a brand called funnel scene i'll add in the the display name here funnel scene and i'll type in the web address so funnelscene.com Okay. And you can see down the bottom, it says powered by funnel scene. Now, if you are a SaaS pro agency owner of go high level, and this is for a client's brand, then I highly recommend actually changing it to your, um, your, your agency's brand name. So I created a brand and a training series that I give away for free for referrals called funnel stacked. And what this is doing is just giving you that little bit more credibility and uh, opportunity for new customers to actually click on your link and get redirected to your services. So that's a pretty cool thing there as well. There's also acknowledgement settings down the bottom. So what this means is um, after the messages have been sent, after the form has been filled, this is what is going to show next. So it says here, acknowledgement greeting, thank you, which is the top one here, acknowledgement message. One of our represents will con re representatives will contact you shortly. So you can change that if you want to be like, your message has been received. I will get back to you as soon as possible. Something like that. So depending once again on your business. So that is pretty much good to go. What I recommend you do once again, every time you add something is click on save, just in case the internet drops out or you accidentally close the page, something like that. And now what I wanna do is actually install this chat widget to some of my websites. So the first one is going to be my personal website that I don't really use anymore. It's just good for testing. And as you can see, there is no chat widget or anything on this website. So this is built with WordPress. 
sure so i'll show you how to do that and then i will show you how to add it to a different um, software which is actually called system i'll show you how to add it into this as well this version is going to be using code the wordpress one is going to be using a plugin so the first thing we want to do is come to the on the wordpress site is come down to plugins click on installed plugins and what we want to do is click add new and what we're looking for is a plugin called lead connector so you can type that into the search results and it's going to appear on the first one 8000 active installs maybe more whenever you're watching this video so click on install now and then click on it one more time once it is installed for activation okay so click on activate and now this this uh this plugin will appear on the left tab up here so few more moments and it shall appear okay so on the left here we now have lead connector you want to go ahead and click on that and all we have here is api key into api key so to find that you want to come back to your account or the client's account you're working in whichever it is come down to settings and make sure you're in the client account here and down at the bottom we have this api key so you want to go ahead and press this little um, button here it looks like a little suitcase come back to your plugin and paste in the code like so and then go ahead click on save right and it's going to go ahead and trigger it make sure it's working and then go ahead make sure enable chat widget is is uh, checked and click pull and save okay and then that is literally it it has been now installed on the wordpress website so i'm just going to drag this to the left a little click on reload and as you will see once the page reloads we now have a chat widget if i click on this chat widget you can see it's got my picture have a question enter your question below and representatives will get right back to you now it doesn't show the intro message because i've actually done this before on this website um, but you'll get the idea of it and you can see at the bottom powered by funnel stacked and the link is live so that's really cool worked perfectly on this website so what i'm going to do just for sake of reference which we'll go through later i'll type in here bill wilson i'm going to type in just some random mobile number for now email address i'm just going to type in um, a random address that i have and message i'll just be like hey i'm interested in digital marketing services okay and then i'll go ahead and click on send and then if all goes well the thank you message has been done so everything has worked perfectly so if i come back into the business now if i come back to conversations you will see bill wilson has added in a message hey i'm interested in digital marketing services we've got phone number we've got email we can also add a tag we can also do this inside of uh, automations and the workflows soon but everything is inside of here you can go ahead and either email them back or text message them back and um, everything is going to work from there so it's really cool so now i'm going to show you how you can install it on any other type of software if it's not wordpress there's plenty of other ways that you can do it so this software once again is using a platform called system.io now this is actually one of the platforms i used to use i'm starting to move everything towards go high level but if you are using this platform what you want to do is click on edit page whichever pages you want it to be added to come to settings and what we're looking for just for reference if i come back to uh, marketing and then i come sorry sites come to chat widget if i click on get code here we are looking for the body code right body or footer section of your website so what you want to do is copy this code um, inside of your chat um, chat widget tab right so get code copy the code there and then what you want to do is come to your editor and look for the footer or body code now you're going to usually have one or the other so this one has footer so click on footer all we want to do is a couple of lines below paste in the widget right there click on save okay and then save changes now if i come to the unreloaded page you'll notice there's no chat widget here if i click on reload just like that we are going to have the chat widget once again it's got all of my personalizations that i added so everything is here good to go and just to test once again i'm going to have um, cyril wilson okay i'll put a phone number once again slightly different and i'll add in a variation of my email just to show you that it works okay hey i want to get some help with my website okay click on send right make sure it works 
thank you message has been received the live link is there perfect let's come back to our dashboard come back to conversations Sarah Wilson is there hey I want help with my website email phone number boom everything is good to go so let's now go to the final part of this tutorial, which is going to be setting up an automation, which is going to be connected to the chat widget, just so we get a notification internally once someone fills out the form. So come to automation. What we're going to be doing is adding a new workflow. If you are wondering why there's no workflows in this account, this is actually just a demonstration account. I created an entire course about this. Um, it's made for the people that sign up using my referral. So what you want to do is first of all come to start from scratch. You want to go ahead click on create new workflow and this is going to open up a brand new canvas. We're going to rename this to uh, chat widget notification. Okay. We're going to click on add new trigger or uh, add new workflow trigger. We're going to call this chat widget a notification. CRM is what we want and we want to choose a workflow trigger and what we want to choose is come down to customer replied and that's the one we want to use click on add filter then we want to choose here um, reply channel and we want to choose this one here chat widget okay so those that's the trigger we want to use click on save that's going to be added and then we want to add our first action so what we're going to do is look for internal uh, notification like here and then click on that and type a notification we want notification title is going to be chat widget um, filled out in fact I might change that to chat widget submission and then down here in custom values this is where we want to add in some information so what you can do is click on this little tag button here we're going to go to contact and we want full name so what I'm going to do is copy this paste it in here and put has filled out the chat widget with this message okay and then what you can do is actually copy contact name once again paste it in there but instead this time I'm just going to backspace name and put message now if I review everything chat widget submission I could even put here from and then it's got the person's name and then it's got the person's name has filled out the chat widget with this message and then it can be their message so that's pretty cool now redirect page we could go to conversation so it's going to take you to um, the previous conversation and then of course um, to use the type you can choose uh, all users or a particular user in your team depending on how your business is structured so that's it go ahead click on save action go ahead click publish and it's pretty much good to go that is it guys that is the go high level web chat feature using the chat widget it's super easy to use and it's super effective hopefully you've followed along hopefully you've got the same result but that's it for this video guys if you enjoyed it if you got value make sure you smash that thumbs up button if you're stuck let me know in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible but apart from that if you haven't yet make sure you hit the subscribe button I've got plenty of go high level training and tutorials coming out in the near future so you don't want to miss out on that but apart from that thanks for stopping by. My name is Phil and I'll see you in the next video.